requested product to review on my channel. Bounce Curl. Bounce Curl is definitely a curly girl favorite. I see it all over Instagram and trust me, I wanted to try it too, but the day has finally come and I have one, two, three, four products from Bounce Curl to review for you guys. I'm sorry it took me this long to review Bounce Curl, but to be completely honest, I reached out to them over and over and over and over and over, could not get a response. I had to have my friend ask for me, then she got me the products, then I wrote them again. Really trying to get you guys a promo code, because you know I like to give you promo codes, and I could just couldn't get a response. So sorry, don't have a promo code, but I am here to review the products anyways. So the first two products I have are both shampoos. I have the Bounce Curl Clarifying Shampoo and the Bounce Curl Moisturizing Shampoo. All of the Bounce Curl products have a lot of really, really, really good ingredients. So the Clarifying Shampoo, for example, has pomegranate, pumpkin enzymes. It says it's supposed to cleanse your hair without drying it, purifies, creates volume, shines, and nourishes. It has provitamin B5. It has biotin which is supposed to help grow your hair rosemary argan oil nubilis flower enzymes and more it also has a hundred percent organic black seed oil and according to the website the organic black seed oil is like a secret special Middle Eastern ingredient that's supposed to be really good for our hair Another great thing about the website is that you can go on there and you could search for products by your curl types. So you can search curly, wavy, or as specific as type two, type three, or type four hair. So that really helps break it down and figure out what products work best for you. Between these two shampoos, the clarifying shampoo is really good if you have like an itchy scalp or a lot of product buildup, it's gonna really help clean your scalp, where the moisturizing shampoo is more of a gentle cleanser that's supposed to reduce frizz, rejuvenate, purify, smooth, nourish hair. Also has provitamin B5, safflower oil, biotin, quinoa, Natel, don't really know what that is, lavender oil, olive oil, green tea, boabub seed, and more. So there's like a lot of organic oils and ingredients all up in these products, which is great. And most importantly, of course, they are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, also cruelty free, and vegan. Now I did use both the shampoos. Here is some footage of me in the shower using the clarifying shampoo. I probably could have just actually used the nozzle straight on my scalp, but I did pour it on my hand to give it a smell. And it has a really good smell. All the Bounce Curl products have a very fruity smell. And the clarifying shampoo has a high foam sud. So you really see those bubbles when you use the clarifying shampoo. This is good for all hair types and it's color safe and it did a really good job of cleaning my hair. Now if my scalp wasn't too crazy, not too much of product buildup, just like a normal wash day then I'd probably grab the bounce curl moisturizing shampoo this one also worked great definitely made my hair very clean and it also has a really 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 good sweet smell both of the bounce curl shampoos are eight fluid ounces and they are $19.99 each after I washed my hair I then used the bounce curl conditioner this is the vitamin enriched hydra drenched cleansing conditioner two-in-one gentle cleanse and conditioner so it sounds like this could also work as a co-wash if you don't want to use your shampoo it's supposed to detangle prevent breakage, shines, protects, repairs, and nourishes. It also has 100% organic aloe, protein, vitamin B5, vitamin E, jojoba esters, marshmallow root extract, sage, green tea, natel. There's so much in here. And she actually listed all of it on the front and then it even says, and more. The conditioner has a similar scent to the shampoo and conditioner, but my main thing with conditioner is that I really want it to be able to detangle, and it does have really good slip. This conditioner is also eight fluid ounces. It has a squeeze container, which is my preference when using it in the shower, and I think it did a really, really, really great job at helping me get rid of all my tangles, and my curls felt very shiny and moisturized after I used it. But now, the main Bounce Curl product that everybody raves about is the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. This is like everyone's holy grail that I had to get my hands on. So it is called a light cream gel because it's not just a gel and it's not just a cream. It's about 80% a gel and 20% cream. So you're getting that nice hold from the gel but still getting the moisture from the cream. So I think it blends greatly together. The light cream gel has aloe vera. Apparently it's gonna enhance your curls and promote healthy hair. Free of parabens, sulfates, and silicones. Also has that black seed oil in here again. So here's me applying the light cream gel. I just put it in my hands rubbed together and then I smooth it down my hair 
and scrunch it. The gel probably has the best smell of all the products in my opinion. It's a little bit of a stronger smell, but it smells like really sweet. I love how they smell. Now when applying the light cream gel, I do apply it straight after the shower on wet or damp hair. I apply it to my hair, smooth it down and scrunch per usual. I like to get it on the left side, on the right side, top of my head, my bangs. Just make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout all of your hair. And it does have a really good smell. Probably my favorite smell of all of the Bounce Curl products that I have here. After my curls dried, I then came back and it looked like this. I loved how shiny and defined my curls were. And then when I even fluffed it out and made it bigger, I was shocked at the great volume that I got on day one hair. If I can get beautiful hair on day one, that, that is a good product. And I'm happy to say that the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel is definitely one of my favorite gels for curly hair. This is definitely in my top five gels of all time, possibly even top three. I know, this is a big deal. And the hair you're looking at right now is actually my day two hair. So this is how it looks on an even better day. Look at this definition. So beautiful, shiny. So I really base my gels off of the hold and this light cream gel only has a hold of level four according to the website. But even with the level four hold, I think that's the perfect amount of hold that everybody will be satisfied in the curly community. The light cream gel is also eight fluid ounces and is $17.99. So overall, the Bounce Curl products are definitely Bianca Renee approved. I loved all of them. I love how natural the ingredients are. I love all the oils in here. And I really feel like if I was able to commit to only using one line of products, I probably would see substantial hair growth because of all the great natural oils that are in these products. So if you need to choose between the shampoo, just decide if you need more scalp attention or more just normal, clean, moisturizing hair. I don't think you really need both per se, but by the one that's best suits your hair and your needs. The conditioner does have great slip, but overall, out of all the Bounce Curl products, the one that I absolutely need in my life now is the light cream gel. I would definitely be continuing to use this throughout the week. I mean, look at my curls. Look at them. Just look, look at this one. That's a good one. All the Bounce Curl products are available on BounceCurl.com. They're not in stores just yet. They're still kind of a new company, but still very popular on social media and their online presence. So if you guys have also tried Bounce Curl, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite Bounce Curl product is. If you enjoyed this video, I need you to give me a thumbs up. I mean, it's just a button, like just push it. It's so easy. It's just as easy as pushing that subscribe button. Oh, you haven't pushed that one either? 